Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here. I'm going to teach you guys how to do the auto EQ on your Pioneer deck. So, thing is, is with double dins, a lot of you probably have done the e-brake mod. The problem is sometimes this doesn't work with the auto EQ. It does some funky things. It won't, uh, as soon as you click it on, it automatically thinks, you know, the e-brake's off. And the problem is, is it, or you know, vice versa, whatever, and when I was trying to get into the audio EQ settings, it wouldn't let me, so what I did is I just popped my deck out a bit, and then you take one of the green wires, I can't, one of them, if you hook it up to the, hook up, hook it up to ground, it will actually just cut your music out, and then, so you disconnect from that, and then this one, which is your uh, parking brake ground, it is, once you put the wire to it, it won't do, it won't have any change really, you'll just go be able to go into your auto EQ and do stuff. So we're just going to turn the radio pretty much to off. And then we're going to go to our favorites or this one. All you, or you can click this button. This will get you there and you'll click on settings. And then once you're here, you scroll down and you'll have auto EQ measurement. You just click on it. It's going to fold down. Or if you have, you know, anything else, it'll do that. And then you'll plug it into the auto EQ mic. The best is to put it right there on your headrest. Now, this auto EQ mic actually is the same one they use for amplif their Yamaha amplifiers. They're really cheap mics. If you've got an amplifier, you could probably just use that mic, or you know, you might be able to purchase them from somewhere for stupid cheap. Um, audio EQ is definitely not for someone who's very, you know, uh, what did you call it? an audiophile, because you should be doing all your settings, you know, by yourself. You can't really do any custom adjustments. Once you've done auto EQ, you have to live with it. Uh, you can turn it off if you don't like it, which I did. I did auto EQ and I didn't quite like the sound. Um, so, yeah, you could do it this way. Once you plug this in, as you can see, it's going to say, please connect the microphone and press start. Once you do that, it counts down like a bomb, 10, 9, 8, and then it slowly starts. You can either do two things. If you have tweeters and you want your entire car to sound perfect, um, then you'll leave your microphone on the headrest and you'll jump out of the car and let it do its thing for 10 seconds. The other way of doing it is just sitting in your car and being absolutely quiet. That's what's really important is, you know, you're in a location where there's absolutely no sound. Don't do it on the side of a highway and don't, you know, do it in a place with a really loud air conditioning unit or anything like that. So, um, yeah, that's about it. After you're done, put your relay stuff back together. All it says in the end is press the home button and you're ready to go. Um, the deck that I'm using is the 8400 by uh, Pioneer. So I can't really, you know, say how it's going to work for all your decks. But this is, you know, for helping people out that if they want some information on doing the auto EQ. And it's also, if you have a relay, it's, you know, if you're having problems doing it, this might help you out. So, if you have any questions, post in the comment section below. If uh, you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.